Hello and welcome to this very special broadcast where we put our spotlight on all the confusion and turbulence inside Twitter ever since Elon Musk's takeover. Well, Naya Malik means Naya Twitter rules, but what sense do we make of this cold blue mess? Dear Elon, clarity please. Musk ticks off Twitterati. Bedlam over paid blue ticks. India Today decodes the blue mess. Following a chaotic takeover by billionaire Elon Musk, Twitter has been going through a lot of changes. The latest where it introduced an official label or tick for select verified accounts. If you are one among millions of verified accounts around the world, then you've got concerns and a lot of confusion. It's led to a tsunami of spoof accounts. These new changes introduced by Elon's Twitter, which many critics had warned the new chief about. Twitter is hustling to deactivate these accounts, but it seems like an endless game now of cat and mouse. Take a look. Elon Musk's Twitter journey so far has been marked by one change after another that's only triggered endless confusion. And at the heart of this chaos is Twitter Blue. You'll have to shell out money now for Twitter Blue. And in India, Twitter Blue with a free verified badge is likely to cost 719 rupees per month. But while Musk outlined that Twitter Blue will kill bots and spam accounts, it's actually led to a surge in fake verified handles in the United States. India today has found numerous instances where fake and impersonating accounts are being verified for a fee and now Twitter is working overtime in tackling this. Let us look at a few examples as to how these fake accounts get verified and the confusion that it has led to. Ellie Lilly and Company is a pharmaceutical firm that manufactures insulin. In one of the notorious incidents that transpired after Twitter Blue went live, another verified handle impersonated the official account to announce that insulin was now free. The original account had to come out with a statement to deny and apologize for the confusion and let users know about its official handle name. In another incident, an account impersonated the official Tesla account and offered free cash to buy cryptocurrency from Elon Musk. The users had to click on a link to participate. There were also several accounts impersonating Elon Musk himself. One of the funniest incidents was this discussion between two accounts impersonating George W. Bush and Tony Blair. The accounts were indulging in some humor, sharing sarcastic jibes on the ex-US president and the ex-UK prime minister. But jokes aside, this could lead to an uncontrollable spread of fake news and misinformation. So how do you differentiate between the real deal and the fake? Well, India today tries to break it down for you. Twitter itself gives away by which it still discriminates the mode of verification of handles. Upon visiting one's profile and clicking on the verified tick symbol next to the account name, we will get two separate descriptions differentiating between legacy verified and subscription-based verification. It's clear now that Twitter under Elon Musk is working on a trial and error method and there are many loopholes in Twitter Blue that the team will have to plug because this verification model seems to be a bigger fake news magnet than the OG. As of now, Elon Musk has said, what doesn't work will be changed and what does work will be kept. That's the new Twitter under Elon Musk. Stay tuned because many things will change literally on a daily basis. With Sai Kiran Kannan in Singapore and Akash Sharma in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. So let's try and decode some of the basic questions that a lot of people are asking. We've just shown you how, uh, you know, opening the floodgates to a paid blue tick has led to an instant profusion of parody handles or impersonating handles that have caused a lot of trouble. 
the real handles have had to apologize you know many people have said are this is not me by the time people realize that these are fake accounts that have just paid that money and gotten that blue tick the trouble is already done but there are real concerns a lot of people are laughing but there are real serious potential problems afoot under this new regime unless sense is made of it very quickly joining me live to make sense of this cold blue mess as we're calling it siddharth zarabi managing editor of business today javed anwar senior associate editor and our in house resident tech guru here at the india today group and barnik chitran maitra is managing partner arthur d little india welcome gentlemen siddharth i want to start with you uh, people have kind of lost track you know people who've got a blue tick are wondering ye kya ho raha hai they are hearing about having to pay for a blue tick then they are hearing about something called twitter blue then they are being told no it's not the same thing the the badge will be something that you will get automatically if you become a subscriber to twitter blue can you just simplify it with some basic basic pointers on what elon musk is trying to do here uh shiv uh, i don't know even if he fully understands what he is trying to do remember yeah. this was an acquisition that he wanted to walk away from till the threat of court action actually brought him back to the table and a billion dollar uh, loss if he would not have acquired it what is he doing in the simplest of terms hmm. there are two things one there is no verification process that is currently available at twitter remember the earlier blue tick was a basically the culmination of a verification process yeah. however opaque and difficult it must have been i think the closest parallel that i can draw with this blue tick on open sale is the manner in which guns are sold in the united states of america hmm. which is twitter's largest market and wha what is behind this madness of bringing the credibility of twitter as the world's largest microblogging news platform is the desire to drive growth and just one number quickly shiv in all of this madness what seems to be happening is that twitter is reporting the highest daily average users in monetizable basis mm. and that perhaps may um, make sense financially because remember otherwise elon is in a 44 billion dollar hole that he has dug for himself yeah so instead of going to mars he might well go under terra firma that's that's really scary and you know the the uh, what hangs in the balance is millions of twitter users you know whose everyday life depends on consuming and putting stuff on twitter javed to you uh, to you next uh, you know if a person has a blue tick i have a blue tick i know siddharth has one i'm I, i'm assuming javed also has a blue tick what do people with blue ticks do now what is what is the to do list what do we need to look out for do you know apart from having to pay for that blue tick what else do we need to do give me like a breakdown so um, for our people who already have blue tick like like you yeah. or or siddharth um the only thing that they can do is wait and watch <laughs> um because um uh, i mean they can subscribe to blue tick hmm. like the way elon musk did hmm. and then once he subscribe to blue blue tick his previous blue tick was replaced by the new blue tick so hmm. if you go to elon musk's profile and click on his blue tick it will tell you that this person bought the check mark hmm. whereas earlier it was telling people that this person is of of some uh, some worth and there was a verification done and then this person acquired a uh, blue tick so my suggestion is if you already have a blue tick just wait and watch <laughs> but what is going to happen in couple of months is that elon musk has very clearly said that all blue tick holders they will have to pay 8 dollars hmm. or uh, in india the 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 price is going to be 7 7719 yeah. yeah and if they don't pay it then their blue ticks will vanish hmm. they will go away so um so i have a feeling that for at least couple of months uh, everybody's blue ticks are are safe right but after that uh, only the people who are paying for twitter blue yeah they will uh, have the badge uh nobody else will have it very very interesting so you know when our resident tech tech wizard says wait and watch that's the, you know that's 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 a little scary for most of us who don't understand how things are actually going barnik to you do you think this entire chaos is going to settle down soon because many people believe yaar elon musk is a 
you know, part businessman, part entertainer. He, you know, he has a very Trump-like quality about the way he is. You know, kuch bhi bol deta hai, kuch bhi kar deta hai. So everyone is a little nervous right now. Barnik. No, I don't think any of this uncertainty and tactics will stop. I think uh, there has been over the last 72, 96 hours a great tick which came, then the great tick went away, then it got mm. added back, it came. So I think this drama is going to continue. Uh, so uh, I think wait and watch is the approach. I think everything will change. Mm. Terms of condition will change. Pricing will change. Uh, and uh, Elon is following classic Silicon Valley mindset of let's test everything. And whatever will stick, we will use. And whatever doesn't stick, we will throw. So expect some entertainment and expect some more uncertainty as you move forward. But again, but there this... may be some method, yeah, method in the madness. Yeah, sorry. D d does this does this run the risk of changing the quality of Twitter completely, in your view, Barnik? Because everything that is happening right now, it is having an impact on how people are viewing the platform. Yeah, I think it, there is, again, I'm probably attributing some method to the madness. But you have to remember that even before Elon took, took over, Twitter was in decline. Hmm. Uh, if you look at the Reuters story from nearly a year back, the heavy tweeters, the people who use Twitter every day of the week, post three, four times, have been dropping off. And the yeah. celebrity watchers uh, and the sports watchers have migrated to other platforms like TikTok and Instagram. And Twitter, Twitter today accounts for less than 0.7% of the global digital ad revenues. Yeah. So the relevance and significance of Twitter has anyway been dwindling. Now, uh, if you look at the only baby left for Twitter is the advertisement revenues. And if you do not have brand visibility on Twitter, advertisers stop spending. I think the only positive thing which is going on is at least there is some action on Twitter. <laughs> so today, if you're a brand, right, at least there is some engagement with the audience and there is a reason for you to go to Twitter. So again, while there are risks of advertisers getting put off by what's going to happen, uh, advertisers getting put off by uh, all the comedy going on, the threats of uh, uh, racism and radicalism right. being instituted on the court portal. But this is what advertisers want, right? They want an engaged audience. They want people who are fighting, who are arguing a comedy of errors. So I think it will change the nature of Twitter. Uh, probably it will make it a little bit more interesting for advertisers because the yes. current okay. shape and trajectory of Twitter was headed nowhere. Let's, let's really hope that, the, that the, the general complexion of Twitter doesn't change completely. Uh, you know, there are many things that are bad about Twitter, but most people are completely used to the way Twitter was and are going to be very resistant to too many big structural changes. But since the in-house experts have said, wait and watch, that's precisely what we will do and that's what our viewers will do as well. Siddharth Barnik and Javed, thank you so much for joining me on this quick chat where we like to tell our viewers what we think about a story that is in motion and we will continue to do so. So Twitter has reportedly started rolling out its blue service which includes a verification tag which is basically that blue tick in India. The service which costs $8 in the United States is likely to be much more expensive and it will cost 719 rupees per month here in India. The update though is currently available only on iPhones. Here's more of it. Twitter's new and revamped blue subscription will soon be available in India. On Thursday evening, a select few iOS users received a prompt to pay 719 rupees per month to upgrade to blue and get a verification checkmark. It was Elon Musk who announced the features of this new blue subscription and had promised that the cost will be decided as per price purchased parity in other countries. In the US, the subscription costs $8 per month, which as per price purchase parity estimates should be available in India in the range of 180 to 200 rupees. But instead, the prompt said 719 rupees per month. That's almost $9 as per the current currency conversion. So clearly the world's richest man has gone back on his promise. The new feature has also sparked massive confusion on the social media website. In just hours of being launched, multiple fake and parody accounts signed up for it and emerged as verified. Accounts of former US President Donald Trump, who has been banned for life for the site, also emerged. 
an already existing parody account named Jesus Christ also stands verified now. This has led to chaos at the microblogging site. The blue tick has always been a symbol of authentication and reliability, but now it isn't. In the US, in one of the most notorious incidents that transpired after Twitter Blue was live was when a fake account of Ellie Lilly, a pharma company that manufactures insulin, announced free supply. The account was later suspended and the original account had to come out with a statement to deny and apologize for the confusion as it had no such plan of making insulin free. This was one of the many impersonating accounts that surfaced and created a chaos. Bureau Report, India Today. And for very obvious reasons, Twitter has been making more headlines than not and it will continue to do so for the foreseeable future, especially in the Elon Musk Raj. That takeover is complete. He's in the driving seat and he's taking every single decision. It was Amber Heard's Twitter account that vanished first. And now Gigi Hadid has quit the platform, citing it as unsafe. Here's a lowdown on what's been happening in the world of celebrities and Twitter ever since... Maskaraj began. Once known to be a platform for fiery debates and getting in touch with your favorite celebrities, Twitter has now been in the headlines recently after millionaire Elon Musk finally completed his long standing takeover of the social media behemoth. While Musk has reiterated that Twitter will be an equal space for anyone and people will be allowed to express themselves freely, various celebrities have decided to move away from the social networking website. And the latest to jump ship is American model Gigi Hadid. Gigi took to her Instagram stories and wrote, For a long time, but especially with its new leadership, it's becoming more and more of a cesspool of hate and bigotry and it's not a place I want to be a part of. Hadid, who had been on the platform for over a decade, didn't mince any words while speaking out against mass layoff of staff and other decisions undertaken by the new management. Not just Hadid, actor Amber Heard is also no longer on Twitter. Netizens also speculated if Elon Musk and Amber Heard's past relationship had something to do with the disappearance of her profile on Twitter. For the uninitiated, Musk and Heard were dating for nearly two years after she got divorced from Johnny Depp. Shonda Rhimes, who has produced Grey's Anatomy and Bridgerton, also deleted her account and wrote that she wasn't going to hang around for whatever Elon had planned. While singer Tony Braxton wrote that she was shocked and appalled at some of the free speech on the platform since Musk's acquisition and was moving on since Twitter was no longer a safe space. Grammy Award winner Sara Bareilles, who had close to 3 million followers, also decided to step away from the microblogging website. Other celebrities such as George Take, Josh Gad and Rob Reiner are among those who have also deleted their Twitter profiles. While closer home, Celebrities haven't shared their thoughts on the new regime at Twitter. However, many famous faces from the Hindi film industry have gone off Twitter for various other reasons. Actor Amir Khan, who was hardly active on social media, decided to take down his account in 2021 as he wanted to focus on work and keep himself dedicated to his art. Meanwhile, filmmaker Karan Johar, who is usually active on social media, also deleted his Twitter account in October this year. He posted a cryptic note on the platform which read, making space for more positive energies only and this is step one towards that. Goodbye Twitter. Earlier actors Sunakshi Sinha and Safik Salim had also bid adieu to Twitter. While Sunakshi wrote that she was deleting her account to stay away from negativity, Safik pointed out bullying, hatred and a lack of kindness as reasons for moving on. Entertainment Bureau, India Today. 
Elon Musk, the new owner of Twitter, the social media platform has been under constant chaos ever since this billionaire took over in October this year. From charging for blue tick verification to offering official badges and then killing it on the same day, Musk has been unpredictable in his move so far. But what lies beyond this veneer of Trump-like unpredictability? India Today brings you a detailed story on Elon Musk's life and that could hold some clues about what to expect. He is a billionaire. He is one of the world's richest men who sells clean energy, green cars and travels to space. Now, Elon Reeve Musk aspires to be a social media giant with altruistic intention to uphold free speech. His endeavors are futuristic and driven by science. A Stanford PhD dropout, Elon Musk has been an entrepreneur from the very beginning. His first startup was co-founded with his brother Kimball Musk. The brothers parted ways after their software company Zip2 was acquired by Compaq for $307 million in 1999. While the elder of the Musk brothers stuck to computers and softwares, Kimball Musk today is an entrepreneur focused on trying to change America's food culture. They come from a different lineage. Their maternal grandfather, Joshua Haldeman, was an adventurous American-born Canadian who took his family on a record-breaking journey in a single-engine Belanca aeroplane from Africa to Australia. Elon Musk's father, Errol Musk, is a South African electromechanical engineer, pilot, sailor, consultant and property developer who was once a half owner of a Zambian emerald mine near Lake Tanganyika. Elon Musk's parents divorced when he was 10. His mother May has two masters of science degrees. Practiced as a dietitian and worked on the side as a model to pay bills as a single mother. His first cousins, Lyndon and Peter Rive, are the founders of solar energy service company, Solar City. But Elon Musk is the most famous of the clan. Thanks to his mad scientist way and the peakless buzz surrounding the company, he's dreamed up from PayPal to electric car maker Tesla Motors to aerospace manufacturer SpaceX. Today he is richer than Jeff Bezos and more unpredictable than the weather. In December 2021, he declared on Twitter that he wanted to quit. A month later, he started to buy shares of Twitter almost on daily batches. In July 2021, a bare feet Elon Musk was seen visiting another billionaire, Richard Branson, at 3 a.m on the morning of the Virgin Boss's space escapade. The photo that Branson tweeted showed Musk bare feet. The reason for being without shoes remains unknown. He is a voracious speaker and in one of his talks in May 2021, he revealed having Asperger's syndrome. Elon Musk married twice and fathered seven children. Five from his first wife and two from his last partner. And his current status is single at 50. From buying Coca-Cola and adding cocaine in it to making fun of Trump's social media account, Tesla CEO and the new Malik of Twitter seems to have ample time for banter online. Here's a report decoding Muskism because it's now part of our daily lives, like it or not.
Next, I am buying Coca-Cola to put the cocaine back in. Trump's truth social should be called Trumpet. Cocaine, ice cream, Trump and tweeting fun on a whim and whipping it up on Twitter. Elon Musk, who just pocketed the social media giant for a cool $44 billion, is on a viral roll. The world's richest man seems to have ample time for some Twitter banter, joking that he's up for buying another global brand, Coca-Cola, to put cocaine back into it. Obviously, firmly tongue-in-cheek. Referring to Coke's original recipe at launch more than a century ago. He may be joking, but with Musk, you can never be sure. Remember, in 2017, he had jokingly asked how much it would cost him to buy out Twitter. Four years later, we've just seen what happened. Despite all the talk of Donald Trump's return to Twitter under Elon Musk, the world's wealthiest man hasn't stopped having some fun at the expense of the former US president. Musk tweeted saying that Trump's fledgling networking site, Truth Social, has a terrible name and should be called Trumpet instead. The SpaceX CEO had recently also launched at fellow billionaire Bill Gates, taking a deeply personal jibe at his pot belly. Musk has also been harsh on Twitter or its perceived left-leaning management, accusing them of censoring free speech and having extreme antibody reactions towards the right to express oneself. According to his pact with Twitter, Musk cannot tweet anything disparaging against the platform itself. So the eccentric tweets have sparked speculation that Musk may have developed cold feet about actually buying Twitter. Since Tesla's stock prices have been falling over the deal involving mega bucks, China too could put a spanner in the works, since Musk's absolutely free speech push may not gel well with the authoritarian Beijing, contributing half of all Tesla vehicle sales. A $44 billion question, is Musk losing interest in the Twitter buyout? Bureau Report, India Today. Well, for better or worse, we're going to keep an eye on everything that comes out of Elon Musk's world. Keep watching India Today for all the latest updates from Twitter and beyond.